I just flip the switch. You ever get the feeling that you're buying the same figure over and over? Eh, could just be me. In toy production, the reuse of a mold is a common occurrence. Since molds can be expensive to create, this is often seen as a comparatively inexpensive way for a toy company to make different toys available in a cost-effective manner. And if your toy company's name is Hasbro, you use this process to also produce exclusive and variant figures. And this brings us to our Transformers toy topic of the day, Redecos and Retools. Hello everybody, my name is SFC Spectacular, your NCIC for all things entertaining on this channel. And the reason I wanted to talk about this today is because I just got Masterpiece Transformers NP17 Prowl figure. And among the reasons I held off on getting him at first was I didn't think it was necessary. Seeing as I already had MP18 Street and MP19 Smokescreen, so why did I change my mind? Stay tuned as I unbox and explain the message behind Redecos and Retools. But first, for the uninitiated, what are Redecos and Retools in the world of the Transformers? Well, a Redeco or Recolor is a toy which uses the same molds as previously released toys, but has been reproduced with different plastic colors and or different paint applications. A redeco can either be officially marketed as the same character in different colors or as a different character altogether. A retool is when any changes to the mold have been made. Even something as simple as giving the toy a different head or additional pegs for locking body parts into place makes the toy fall into this category. An excellent example of this are the first generation Seekers, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. Starscream is the original mold, while Thundercracker and Skywarp are both redecos. But let's look at the second year Seekers, or Coneheads. Dirge, Ramjet, and Thrust are all retools of the same base mold, which is Starscream. But by giving the figures new colors, new heads, and new wings, voila. I like it a lot. While researching for this video, I discovered something called pre-tooling. That basically means that they have planned a retool beforehand and created those toys at the same time. The best example of this is Generations Thrilling 30s Voyager class toys, Autobot Springer, and Sandstorm. So why do many fans buy repaints and redecos? In many cases, we, the fans, allow it depending upon the lore and the character these redecos and retools are used for. Most exclusive toys, be they for conventions or stores, are redecos and retools of previously released toys and are irresistible to many collectors because of their rarity. Some collectors just seemingly have to have all variants or characters simply for the collectional purposes. Now on screen are a list of common themes for some redecos and repaints. So let's get to why I like repaints and redecos. So why did I change my mind on Prowl? For me, it has to do more with the lore and or the character. If I like both, I will most likely get the toy of that character. I didn't think getting a third Dotson was needed. Plus, I didn't really care for Prowl as a character. In this case, for collectional and completion sake, I decided to get him. He completes my trio of Dotsons and fills out the G1 roster nicely. I personally feel like some redecos and repaints are unnecessary and are purely profit driven. I do understand that in many cases, redecos are a great way for a company to recoup its losses. Overall, I'm kind of 50-50 on the whole top, but how do you guys feel about repaints and redecos? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are they money grabs? Let me know down in the comments and we can get a discussion going. Well, spectacular people, that's it for this unboxing slash Transformers toy talk. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so you can see me review this MP17 figure along with some other figures and reviews. And make sure you check out the video that YouTube recommends on screen. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Peace.